This is the story of a young man which actually born in the Netherlands, which is the west of Europe. He born as a Christian, he been to the Christian school and been to the Christian sports club as well. He got misunderstood or misguided or brainwashed by some people, by social media and politician to become an anti-Islamist and become the part of a, a political party and stood quite alertly and actively as a kind of activist against the Muslim people. He was thanking that the Muslim or the bad threat or danger uh, for the Europe of his time, but actually even most of the people were perceiving that thing that the Muslim were caused for the 9-11. By the way, Assalamu alaikum, it's me Bilal Ahmad. I come out with a very beautiful and captivating kind of story. I hope that's going to be completely a boom kind of story. You people have to watch it fully and I hope and I believe that at the end you're going to praise me, okay? Uh, by the way, the story started in the Netherlands of a man which born and the Christian family. Um, his father, basically he was a Christian. They were going to the, they actually grow up as a kind of person which got misunderstood and brainwashed uh, about the Islam by many people in their surrounding. And even they've been to the Christian school and Christian sport club and they are actually, they met with the people in their surrounding, all the Christian which had bad cognitive about Islam. By the way, when they grow up, what happened, they, they were telling that basically I was going to the church within a week uh, or on Sunday I was going to the church, but I had some doubts on the gods of the Christian, like the Christian saying that the God, uh, the, the God is God, the Holy Spirit is a God and the Son is God as well, but there is no three God. There is just one God, but that was a completely, seems to me, a kind of stupidity of the people. Well, I was not in 100% compared within the church when I was moving, I was seeing the, actually seeing something within the, within the church, something which were quite uh, like fraternity kind of, and uh, they were telling about the bloodshed of the Jesus peace and blessing be upon him. So I was thinking, how could actually the God be allow or let down his son within that world to suffer and the son going to be actually a God? That was a completely bullshit, okay? So what have I done? I I got some doubts and nobody would ever at that time they could actually make me clear about my doubts. By the way, then I I become the part of a political party because I watch on the social media, the social media were bumping into my brain that one thought that the Islam, Islam these all the Islamic people or Islamophobes, they are the cause of 9-11, they are the dangerous people for the Europe and for the around the world. They were actually even they even became a kind of person which work in a movie against the Muslim people uh, as a kind of person uh, which were the main character in the movie. So that's something actually, you know, blowing the mind that wasn't uh, acceptable. But by the way, they were saying that I got misunderstood and brainwashed by these all the politicians. I was thinking that the politicians are the people which are working for hours, uh, for our country, which want to prevent our country from all the curse, from all kind of actually terrible kind of situation, want to prevent us, want to see us as a, a, a kind of sap people and uh, a privacy kind of country uh, to be have that kind of situation within the country so I thought that the politician are these kind of people but then I got understood that these all are misguided so these all were stood against the Islam so I had some friends and uh, I had some doubts as well I was thanking with my own son why am I doing this all the time? Because around the world there is 1.8 billion people uh, which are Muslim, okay? 
or they they all are actually terrorists and they they all are evils they all are bad people so i got to render myself into that kind of situation and that was something un understandable for a while and i had some great friends within the netherlands because within the netherlands we had also one million muslim at that time 2013 uh, before then 2013 when i was an activist against islam so one of my friend or some of my friends there they told me that why are you not going by your own self to do research about Islam then subsequently whatever actually comes to your mind that's your will and your choice you are able to do these all the thing but just by your will and your understanding now today you don't know about Islam while well, you are blaming the Muslim and giving such kind of astonishing claiming it's not fair so he also got a point because the common sense that thing and he started research he he been to the mosque he been to the uh, imams and he asked all his doubt and he also he says that basically I got inspired by a book within the Netherlands which were about the Prophet Muhammad peace and blessing be upon him by the name Muhammad and I got inspired by this book and then I decided why am I not going to actually learn more about that um, um, uh, whether it's a good religion or bad religion if it's bad then I would have to stand and actually con them all the Muslim uh, rights and these all the thing because we don't want to uh, see the Muslim anymore within our country we want the Muslim but little okay by the way so what happened he started the research and by the mercy and blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he make sure his mind got clarity about the Islam and he actually get understand in the real sense of what this means by Islam and he decided that I have to uh, be a kind of person to convert to Islam but because he he got the clearance of all his doubt which no one were able uh, in the previous time and last time when he was searching for that to get the answers of all the question and Christianity so he decided to convert to Islam and he eventually alhamdulillah converted to Islam he became a Muslim and then what happened with him like he been through a lot of suffering like he says that basically I got detached I I got a kind of distance with my brothers and my sisters they were quite actually in a kind of connection and relation with me before to become a Muslim but after at all they actually got a distance with me and also my mother she wasn't in the mood of that to accept me but still she was supporting me because she was my mother and what happened basically I did these all the thing hardly from the political party because I was thinking if somebody uh, catch me out at that place by doing such kind of research about Islam or converted to Islam they might actually make me to kick out from the job within where actually I was working so just due to that fear and that intimidation I, I stopped my own self and when I converted when I exposed to the people the people got shocked uh, I actually still was a politician work as a politician but I wasn't anymore working for that kind of political party which were betrayed to the people which were actually showing Islam as a terroristic religion but in actual the Islam were a power and a beautiful interesting incredible uh, heart fulfilling and actually giving or answering all my questions and doubts of the people of the western which always they're having about the god basically so what happened at that time i lost my job i even lost some of my friends i got a distance and connection with my family members i had still you know a kind of connectivity with the people in my family but they got a kind of distance they were not treating me just the way that they were treating me before and even i purchased my home and from a large house i came to a small house and also some luxurious car i just purchase the car and basically just to expand that money or invest that money on myself because I had no other choice and before then that I had luxury cars luxury homes and luxury uh, rest watches and these all the thing these all the thing got into when they were not anymore with me so 
but I, I, that wasn't something a big sacrifice for me. I was thinking, okay, I'm before much more better and happy than before that I was like before when I had these all the thing, these all the luxuries. Today I don't, but today I'm much more happy than a last time and before what I was basically. Uh, but the biggest challenge and sacrifice was about my family members and I lost these all the people and that was a kind of intimidation as well like that was quite bothering me but then I decided okay the God going to do everything and eventually what happened uh, today I'm a working as a kind of uh, for the Muslim and a project and the project has started by me and we are providing the foods around the world to the Syrian you know poor people and helping these all the people calling the people toward Islam as well so now he's a biggest dawah person a great preacher and he got inspired by the story of the prophet Muhammad peace and blessing be upon him and of course why not because he's the most influential person of the world by his goods not by bad okay influences just due to two things either due to bads uh, you know or due to goods so the prophet Muhammad peace and blessing be upon him got that influence even a lot of non-muslim scholars and historian and philosopher they mention the prophet as the greatest person as a savior of humanity so now you guys can imagine how lucky we are that we born as a muslim person okay Guys, that was for today and the time is running from my hand Well, the time is quite late. I have to open my solai as well. But the thing is that guys, I want to make a kind of request, a humble request to all of you that you people have to support me because I want to preach around the world. I want to call out the people toward Islam. I have a great curiosity to learn more about Islam and that curiosity going to get increased and come to, uh, comes to reality or real, real life, okay, just because of the fact that a you people are going to support me i'm getting more viewers i'm thanking the other people as uh, watching me the people are getting some points for me the people are getting some hidayas then i'll what would i do i'll just put more efforts on my body i'll just actually buy out more things uh purposeful that i have to do uh with more actually a great pattern with a great schedule uh, and actually uh, a kind of great perception the preaching and the dawah around the world and i'll showing all the videos face by face with the non-muslim from around the world because i do have some peoples from around the world i'll come but you people have to do one thing if you are new to the channel please press the subscribe button uh, press the like we do uh, pr pr press the like button as well yeah and share it with your friends and family members and i hope that was helpful and see you in next video with a new story assalamu alaikum